Centralia Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Wanklin Oil, and First Heritage Bank. Wait, Santa is done, my friends. After Santa's hard work comes the new Wi-Fi Hungry Connected Gadgets. Make sure your router is capable and ready. Let Blue Valley help you kick off the new year on the right foot and upgrade your Wi-Fi experience. Get two months free worry-free Wi-Fi and free installation from Blue Valley Technologies. For more details, visit bluevalley.net slash promo. Everyone has something that they do best. Banks are no exception. Ours is investing back into the local communities that we serve. We make loans to local families and businesses. These loans generate the dollars which empower our local community. Invest in our community by banking with us. We're an equal housing lender. First Heritage Bank in Centralia, Corning, Seneca, and Vermilion. Member FDIC. Online at 1hbank.com. Wanklin Oil is proud to serve the community with propane, gas, and diesel fuel right to your home or farm. Family owned and operated, they'll deliver your fuel with an old fashioned personal touch. Their dependable quality service at the lowest price available makes them a leader in the field. In addition to propane and diesel, they also offer tank repair, sales, and service. For your fuel and heating needs, Wanklin Oil is just a call away. 800 794 2019. They have the energy since 1926. Joined now by Nick Evans, head coach of the Centralia Boys basketball team. Coach, welcome back, I guess, here in the program after the, the tournament week that was two weeks ago there at Onega. I want to take you back to that before we talk the Hanover game. But you guys, fourth place finish there for you. Your two losses came by, I think, a combined like eight points. So what do you want your team to take away from that? And then moving forward, learn from the experience. Uh, I mean, I, I think we... We're, we're moving in that direction. You know, we, we didn't get what we wanted out of the deal, but when you can walk away from it and, and look at where you missed some things and what you could do better and take some accountability, and, and I don't even have to point it out. They're pointing it out before I can even get it out. I think shot selection was an issue. You know, we, we never lost on the boards. We held teams in check defensively. It, it, it was really just offensively. Like I think, I think we took a, I'd say in both teams at least five to ten bad shots, um, basically turnovers. But they took that to heart, and I thought we and, and we had you know, we play on we played last Friday, and we had our best shooting percentage game on the year. And it's nice that they got to see progress because they actually did what was asked. Coming up here in the next two weeks, you guys have a handful of games, five or six, I can't remember. But a, a lot of action here in 14 days. How important will it be to continue to build your team's depth? It's kind of just like the TBL tournament. I mean, you you could tell, like even the Axel Hanover game, the championship game. Man, that's a lo- that's just a long week mentally and physically. And it was just kind of, it kind of turns into a slug because you know your guys are tired. And yeah, it is nice to be able to go eight, nine, and give. And it is nice to. You know, like early on in the year, it was it was a lot of race and packs, and then to take the load off them a little bit, and that that all that's a mental break, you know, a little bit for them. That you know, Clinton all the first stepped up, and you got guys off the bench stepping up, and you do you need those people and you need those pieces, and it's it is mentally it gives you a little break, and so that you can rely on other people, and not everything's weighing on you. You get started with a Troy team coming up Tuesday evening. You have to make the trip up there. I know they probably haven't had the season uh, many were expecting, but what are you going to have to be watch for in those Trojans? Oh, that Jack Hartman kid is a he's a he's a hog inside man. He he's a rebounding machine and he's a big kid and he's a good finisher. Uh, he's relentless on the boards and they have like three really good rebounders and then their guards are just quick and athletic and so. You got to have defensive balance and, and stop their transition, and then you got to rebound, and you got to you got to cover that three point line because sometimes that can hurt them. Sometimes that kind of makes them go. So they got a good group, and I know that if if they had their whole group and they didn't get hurt in football, man, they'd be really good. So yeah, they're they're good they're a good team. 
That's all I've got for you today, actually. I'll let you go on that one. Again, joined by Nick Evans, head coach of the Centralia boys basketball team. Appreciate it, as always, Coach. We'll catch you here through the season. Thanks, Max. Centralia Coach's Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Wanklin Oil, and First Heritage Bank.